So what's up guys, I'm Blackouts Amazing, welcome back to another video on the channel where today we're going to be talking about zombies within Modern Warfare 2, a small little easter egg that you can find within DMC, I'm not too sure if it's in Warzone as well, I'm pretty sure it will be, and perhaps in the campaign, but seeing this gave me the idea that, well, zombies should be in DMZ and I think it would make it a hell of a lot better after playing it a few times now. There are a couple of things about this mode that personally I would change and I don't know if many of you guys will remember but before Modern Warfare 2 came out, I think it was like a month before or a couple of weeks, there were loads of different leaks that there would be a zombies mode within Modern Warfare 2, not necessarily straight away, not necessarily a few weeks or a month after the games come out like we are now, but there were lots of rumours that as a part of year 2 for this game, because we know it's getting a 2 year cycle since we aren't getting Troyox next game until 2024, so we're having content for Modern Warfare 2 all throughout 2022, which isn't too much to go now all throughout 2023 and part way through 2024 as well. We've got two full years of DLC, which does still leave us room for the potential addition of zombies being added into this game, whether it be its own separate game mode, ROM based maps, I don't think something like that, but using the stuff that we have in Modern Warfare 2 already, like I said, such as DMZ, such as the bigger maps that we have in the game, like Ground War, I very much could see these being converted to some type of mode that includes zombies. Remember that we've got two years of this game and Infinity Ward, because we've never seen this before, are going to have to find ways to change up the type of content that we would be getting. Because just for me at least, having two years of just multiplayer maps, weapons, skins, yes okay we have spec ups and we have also heard the rumours of a campaign DLC which apparently is going to cost $70 or pounds and one way to justify that price tag could be the addition of zombies. But just before we carry on, I want to say that today's video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile is one of the most popular free-to-play mobile battle royale games in the world, with 50 million active daily players and more than 1 billion downloads in total. Enjoy the authentic battle royale experience, compete with other players and find out who's the one who's going to survive till the end. You can play solo, duo or squad in the battle royale mode or in one of its other 10 game modes such as Weapon Master, Arcade, Sniper Training, Team Deathmatch in first or third person. There are also six different maps for players to choose from and each of them comes with unique features and gaming experiences. And PUBG Mobile offers several cool skins and outfits to customise your characters and weapons from, regular collaborations with Spider-Man No Way Home, Baby Shark, brands such as Lamborghini and celebrities such as Lionel Messi. And well, talking about Messi, because as I'm sure you all know, right now we have the World Cup going on. Just in my opinion, he is the best footballer in the world, which makes this collaboration even more exciting. There are loads of different things to do and get you can accomplish weekly activities linked to Messi's content to unlock some gorgeous Messi content for absolutely free. You can get Messi's golden shoes, this item can be picked up to gain sprint and boost effects and make football light -like dribble movement, which is available on the Arangel, Livic and the Noosa maps. And there will be an incredible amount of Messi customised items in the game during the collab, such as three new Messi skins, Messi weapons, Messi bag and bag ornaments, Messi pan, Messi parachutes, Messi plane, and more. And finally, in celebration for the 2022 World Cup, there is an exciting football themed festival which is the Global Chicken Cup update, which includes loads of football themed fun, such as a football car which is a new single player vehicle, a football theme park which is a new themed area, a portable football which is a new throwable item like a grenade, and much more. So there is so much here, PUBG Mobile is a massive game, this is something everybody should be checking out with the newest collaboration with Messi and the Global Chicken Cup update. You can go ahead and download it for free right now just by clicking the link down in the description. So make sure you do that because there's so much content here and it's super fun. So there we go, thank you to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into it. Anyway, as I was saying before I continue on with that tangent I went on, there is a sort of easter egg for zombies within Modern Warfare 2. Now, I personally believe that this is just a placeholder, an asset that's simply been reused from an older game. I don't think there's a deeper meaning behind it necessarily, but you can find a reference to one of Infinity Ward's old zombies maps from Infinite Warfare Zombies within this comic. Now, like I said, this is on DMC. If it's on Warzone, I don't know. I don't really play it. It probably is somewhere and maybe on some multiplayer maps as well, maybe in the campaign, who knows? But just looking at it, if you know Infinite Warfare Zombies, Attack of the Radioactive thing, you, <laughs> well, you can see the resemblance. So we have a comic book in Modern Warfare 2 from Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now we've seen this plenty of times in Call of Duty before, assets being reused. I'm not too sure if this specifically exactly how it is now was an asset that we had in Infinite Warfare, whether you could find this exact comic 
in that game or if infinity would have created it just for modern warfare 2 if they have then that's a little bit weird you could say it is just a reference to their zombies mode but to even include something like this in modern warfare 2 well is and isn't weird because even though we didn't have zombies within modern warfare 2019 not a zombies mode we did have zombies in warzone and we do know that warzone was connected to the black ops zombies storyline the modern warfare 2 universe and the black ops universe are connected and the same goes for zombies and so since modern warfare 2019 is connected to modern warfare 2 technically modern warfare 2 is also connected to the black ops universe which means zombies are a part of modern warfare 2's universe so if they exist in this universe then it is possible that maybe somewhere down the line we see them in the game but yeah as far as this easter egg goes or this reference does it really mean anything since i've seen quite a few people saying it no i don't think so i do think either it's just a cool easter egg or a reuse of assets that infinite ward didn't think about this to me doesn't mean that zombies is coming to modern warfare 2 but as i said in the beginning of the video if you take your minds back to a few weeks before this game came out there were leaks that there would be a round based zombies mode and outbreak within this game. We saw images of different modes that would be in Modern Warfare 2 and a couple of those modes were round based zombies and outbreak. Now straight away then I even said I don't think round based zombies is coming to this game and I still don't. And as far as outbreak goes, I definitely think that's more of a possibility since outbreak on Black Ops Cold War used the fire team maps and the closest thing we have to that in Modern Warfare 2 are the ground war maps so I could see that working out using the ground war maps for outbreak and also even though i don't know game design i can't see that being too difficult to do if you remember how quickly troy pushed out the outbreak maps compared to the round based zombies maps i'd imagine it wouldn't be too different for this game at this current moment in time i don't think that's going to happen but perhaps as a part of year two in 2023 and 2024 i do think it's a possibility when we get that campaign dlc and infinity ward and activision want to charge people 70 dollars 70 pounds to access it according to the leaks it will be about a five hour campaign and all of the original modern warfare 2 maps remade so high rise quarry rust everything that we saw in the 2009 version personally does all of that content justify paying the price of a full game 70 dollars no i'd imagine there'd also be some spec ops content thrown in there as well but still to me just because it's not a new game it's dlc i wouldn't want to pay 70 dollars for that but if you then included zombies say outbreak maybe then it would be worth it. But even without all of that, I was thinking because I've been playing a couple of games of DMZ, I didn't play it when it came out because it didn't really interest me. Playing against bots in multiplayer is something I've just never liked. For solo games, for campaigns, that's fine when you've got a story to follow along, but I've never really liked playing against bots in online games i prefer going against real players but zombies has always been a bit different because yes even though they are technically bots it just doesn't feel the same as killing regular enemy ai that look like you and still now even having played a couple of games of dmc i'll be honest i don't 100 percent get it i mean i do it's a mode to really just rank up your weapons unlock things but i just don't really get any fulfillment out of it since i am playing against bots and not actual real players it doesn't really give me satisfaction but compared to a zombies mode that's something i do find fun and when i was playing this i was thinking well how difficult would it be to replace the enemy ai with zombies i don't think it would be very hard and i think that'd make it a hell of a lot more fun or even having zombies in it alongside the enemy ai it's definitely possible zombies in this universe is possible we had zombies in the original war zone so there's absolutely no reason why we can't have them in this game maybe it's more wishful thinking because i think it'll make this game mode a hell of a lot better to me right now it's um just not something i get satisfaction from going in doing missions against ai and then exfilling after one or two times i'm left asking myself well what's the point of this i'm not getting anything from it but i do think zombies would make it a lot more fun so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always hopefully you've enjoyed this video today i just wanted to see what you guys would think about this drop a like rating if you've enjoyed make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye